Are we meant biologically to be with one person only? Well, what do you think? My wife is over there, like, I, you know, <laughs> of course I'm going to say, absolutely, baby, I love you. Yes, we're, I, you know, I think, we're, 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 but it takes a lot of work to do that. Right. It takes a lot of work to do that. But uh, uh, there's been any studies or, or, or medical studies that have been, you know, done on that subject where they could determine, yes, we're made to be with one person. It just takes work to do that. Or, no, we're programmed to be able to, you know, to go with other, other people. Well, biologically, you know, I think, you know, we are designed to pair bond. We are designed just by nature to be close to another. We need, you need a, medically, you need a man and a woman right. to be able to have a baby. And then afterwards, the release of oxytocin in the body, the release of all of these other hormones gives brain a chemical wash and bonds you to your partner. That's what happens in the beginning stages of dating. That's what happens when you hold your child for the first time as new parents. Right. I mean, there are chemicals biologically that do, that are designed to kind of bond you to your mate. Right. However, monogamy is not for everyone, and that's perfectly okay. I think the trap can be when some people try to conform into the monogamy box, that, and that's just not what their preference is. And so I think that we should give ourselves the freedom to explore whatever works for us. The mm -hmm. only way that it doesn't work is if you don't communicate and you don't know that for yourself and you get into a monogamous relationship, you're like, whoa, this is not for me. You know, so as long as you know, people can do whatever they like and whatever they please. And monogamy is not for everyone, but it's, you know, there are different schools of thought. But I personally believe that, you know, we're designed to, to mate and to be close to another person. To one person. I mean, you know, the reason why I ask you this is because, you know, way back then, you know, men dominated when it comes to cheating, right? Mm -hmm. But now recently, I've read some studies where women cheat equally as much, if yes. not more, than men. Well, I haven't seen more. Well, I've seen more. But, I've seen more. But, Maybe I've seen more. But, you know, I think you're, you're absolutely right. When it comes to cheating statistics, you know, it's not gendered anymore. It's not just, oh, right. the men are the ones that are doing all of the cheating. It's definitely neck men and neck. women too. They have jumped on the bandwagon. Yes. And, you know, a lot of times when it comes to cheating, many times it has nothing to do with the person or the partner as the reason to why that person is cheating. It really has to do with a lot of times it's a intra personal crisis so it's mm -hmm. there's things that are happening within me whether I'm still developing as a person I'm exploring who I am and I'm not sure who that is anymore right. it's not who I thought I was I really want to see what else is out there for me or you know really following that lustful connection and saying you know I'm really attracted to somebody else and not really thinking it through to say you know what th this is what I've chosen this is you know I've chosen to be in a monogamous relationship but sometimes the, you know we can get ahead of ourselves right. and some people you know end up going down the road when it comes to infidelity absolutely